Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I painted the cursed caskets from the Warcry Catacomb set. This Warcry Catacomb set comes packed with some awesome scatter terrain, and I was really impressed with all the different pieces. Here's the cursed caskets that we're going to paint in this video. And to start with, I put a coat of Necrotic Flesh by Army Painter and then applied a coat of contrast paint in Basilicanum Grey. As this was the first set of terrain I've ever painted, I really wanted to kind of have a goal of just making a tabletop ready set of scenery with a really good finish. Um, I wasn't overly fussy about detail, but I just wanted to kind of practice and master some of the basic techniques and hopefully pull off something that looks really cool. So I'm just using it straight out of the pot and applying that contrast paint in a nice thick coat all over the whole piece. And where I want most of that kind of shade to build up, that's where I'm ending my brush strokes there. But really I'm just roughly adding it on and getting a, a full coat over the whole piece. There we go, that's coated now. So it looks quite messy at this stage, but it's given us some nice texture. And I haven't painted over the bones, the skeletons, the skulls and the little treasure that's inside. Now it's on to Contrast Black Templar and Contrast Terradon Turquoise and Contrast Medium. And I took all three of these and mixed them all together to make a really dark, dark, like black teal colour. So for this, I took four parts Contrast Medium, two parts Black Templar, two parts Terradon Turquoise. So I gave that really good mix together and then just with an old scruffy kind of medium brush, I'm going to coat over every area that I put on that Basilicanum grey. Once I've done that, I've moved on to the skeletons. So as that other one was drying, I started with some contrast skeleton hoard, and that's going to go over all the bones, the skulls and the skeleton. So I'm putting this on quite thick and I really want it quite dark in those recesses. So I'm just loading up the brush straight out of the pot and putting it right in there, ending my brush strokes where I want most of that shade to end up. If it starts to pool on any of the raised areas, I'm just wicking it up with the brush and then moving it to where I want it. Next, I want to give those pots a little bit of colour of their own. So I took some contrast Griffhound orange and then applied that to all the different pots and the broken pots. So with those ones, I didn't cover those in that black and turquoise mix that we did, but I did give them a coat of the Basilicanum grey. And now with this Griffound orange going over the top, that's going to give a nice kind of terracotta look, but also keep it tied into the piece. With the pots done, we've just got a little pile of gold tucked hidden away inside that coffin. And I wanted to kind of give that a metallic look. There you go, you can see it in there. So I took a kind of smaller brush now, just an old one still, but just a little bit smaller, and some Balthazar gold. And then straight out of the pot, I'm going to cover those coins and give them a good coat, but being careful not to go over any of the other layers that I've previously done. With that Balthazar gold completely dry, then I go in with some Agrax Earthshade and just put a little bit of grungy colour over those coins. And that's all our base coats done. I may not have even needed to do that Basilicanum grey under there at all but I think it's going to give some extra texture and tone to the piece. But it'd be interesting to try it without next time. But now I want to highlight the whole thing. So with some Vallejo white paint, or any white paint would do for this, I add that, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the teal colour that I mixed previously. And this teal colour I'm using here on my wet palette is the same colour I used on the Catacomb Dungeon Doors. So I'm mixing that in and I'm keeping it quite bright because I want these to look quite spooky and I want there to be a real strong contrast between the highlight and the base layers. So I've loaded up my brush with paint and then I'm just working it on a kitchen towel to get it in amongst the bristles and getting rid of as much paint as I can. And then I just test it on my hand to see how much is going to come off there on the piece. And I've just got a very small dry brush for this and then I'm just going in a downward motion really hitting those raised edges and starting to bring out all the detail that's already in the piece. And this is where having really good terrain like this does the work for you. These terrain pieces really come to life with a good highlight. 
With that highlight complete, you could leave it there, but I'm just gonna take some a shabti bone. And I'm just gonna highlight those pots and stones just to bring those to life too. The same process, just add some paint, work it into the bristles and then get as much as you can off on the paper towel. I'm just testing it again on my hand to make sure there's not too much on there. And then I'm gonna apply that to all the pots just in another downward motion, just hitting those raised areas and catching that texture. You could put some on the skeletons and skulls too, but I like the real grungy effect you get from that skeleton hoard. If I was doing kind of more skulls, like on the Corvus Cabal, then they definitely need a highlight, especially if you want to go for a bleach bone effect. And that's the cursed caskets complete. I was really happy with the spooky look and how it turned out. And that rich turquoise black really did a good job, I think. So there are two of these kind of terrain pieces in the Warcry Catacomb set. So I did exactly the same on the other one. And on that broken masonry there, I used the same effect that you can see in my other videos, such as the Warcry Catacombs dungeon doors. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope this video helps you with your Warcry Catacombs painting. I'll put links in the description below to all the paints I've used, and also to my blog posts where you can get a free paint recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you liked the video, subscribe for more Warcry content like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Game.